Mailbag time. If you have questions, you can email me, thesolomonster at gmail.com. Please include your name and where you are from when you write in. Uh, Kyle from Santa Barbara, California. I saw a lot of people complaining about The Undertaker squashing John Cena at WrestleMania 34. To me, it seems like it was planted to set up next year. Uh, or planned, I guess he said. Doesn't it, doesn't it just seem like they'll reverse the roles? Taker pursues Cena this time because he knows the 16-time world champion can do better. Cena declines. Taker persists to no avail until finally putting his career on the line at WrestleMania 35, to which John Cena accepts. This gives Undertaker some time to get better prepared for one final match. How much time does this guy need to prepare for one match? <laughs> he wrestles once. Maybe twice. I guess he's going to wrestle at this this greatest Royal Rumble. He wrestles twice at most in a year. The course of a year, he wrestles twice at most. If a year is not enough to prepare for one match, then guess what? It's time to hang up the trench coat. So let me just say that first, okay? He's got more than enough time to prepare. That's number one. Number two, uh, I, I don't know why he would Undertaker pursue a match with Cena. He beat Cena. There's no reason for Undertaker to want to go after John Cena. There's literally no reason for him to go after John Cena. John Cena called him out. John Cena said all these horrible, nasty things about him. You know, and 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 embarrassed him every single week. Undertaker came out, kicked his ass, pinned him, and went home. There's literally no other reason for him to want to go after John Cena. So I see I don't see what's gained by that. I'm not saying that they won't come back and do the match again. I just don't see that as being the build-up, where they just reverse roles with Undertaker uh, coming out and issuing a challenge to Cena. Because, to me, there's no reason whatsoever for him to do that. And, you know, if Undertaker does have a rematch with Cena at WrestleMania next year, I don't see the outcome being the same, which means he loses. And so if that turns out to be his final match, he goes out a loser, which he would have anyway if he would have left things alone after the Roman Reigns match last year but one of the things I heard from people was oh man you know don't be so hard on the match you know I'd like to see Undertaker come back and maybe go out with a win this time well if he comes back and wrestles Cena again I guarantee you he's not going out with a win so uh, if it were me I would leave well enough alone 